Let's go. What we got? What we doing? We back warriors. The Street Fighter Showcase. 30 minutes. Let's see what they got. That sounds like Dalsim to me. Well, the description. I'm a Street Fighter guy, by the way. Even though I talk about Guilty Gear and Tekken, more than I talk about Street Fighter. Oh, here we go. Okay, you can use your custom character in like mad mini games. There's no way you're going to be able to use your custom character in ranked. Because it looks like you can make your custom character like pretty broken, man. Ah ha ha! Holy moly! Bloody! Your custom character can have like Zanki's power driver and Ryu's dragon punch and all sorts of madness. This guy customized Hagar. Was that jewelry and Dalsim? Bro, yeah. You can never use this in cust in a um, rank battle. Jeez. Oh my god. Was that like Kimberly and uh what's the name again? Manon? And then um, Kimberly. Oh, Dal Sim and Manon. What the? That was Ken. And two super is this? Got to. What the hell? What is happening? There's probably going to be a special mode where you could just play with your custom characters in a like a special mode, like player match. Yeah, maybe play a match. That'd be crazy. Oh my god. Why are Capcom using this guy, man? Unbelievable. So let's get into the game and get the showcase started with the latest from Street Fighter Six's director, Takayuki Nakayama. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Uh, My name is Takayuki. What's up, Takayuki? Director of Street Fighter Six. As you saw in the beginning of our latest trailer, Street Fighter Six features significant <laughs> content in the form of World Tour. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Today, I'd like to tell you more about World Tour mode. Let's go party. Game mode. It's party. Impress me. You got thirty minutes. Which ain't very long at all. <laughs> no, it's very long. Yeah, like the story mode is going to be ongoing, man. It's going to be ongoing. And it's not going to be like a Tekken story mode where it's like proper crazy engrossing. It's going to be more about the experience with your custom character. It's what it looks like. This goofball. This corny ass character, bro. Yeah, this looks good. The customization looks crazy. Yeah, he looks like some mad custom character, bro. That uh, whoever customized him, they worked on this customization for like a minute. It's during this basic training course that you'll meet Bosch, your rival and classmate. And one of the great things about World Tour is that you'll interact with a slew of unique. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty good. It's gonna be pretty good. So now we're ready to hit the street. I'm not completely sold on Street Fighter Six yet. I gotta be honest. Oh, that's Lily. That's probably Honda. Honda's throw. 
Ryu. You've got Ryu's moves. Now you've got Kimberly's move. These are some crazy. Alright, Luke's jab. Yeah, those are like Luke's normal buttons. The only thing is, yeah, I'm not sold on the characters yet. The game looks very system heavy. Like, too system heavy. It looks like the game is going to favour whoever's good at mastering the system more than it is the combat itself. Well, the system is, com is the... Combat itself, but this the fighting combat system looks like rock, paper, scissors. You know, it looks like a rock, paper, scissors game. And no character speaks to me at the minute. Like, Street Fighter Five, Laura spoke to me. Like, I continue playing Street Fighter Five because of Laura. Well, Laura and Poison, but it was more Laura. She's the one that keeps me playing the game because I love that character. Like, when I first saw Laura in Street Fighter Five, her trailer, I was like, I'm playing this game. I'm getting this game. I love this character. In this game, I don't have that. I don't have that just yet. Kimberly looks interested to me and Manon looks interested to me, but I don't love those characters. Like, I'm not like, wow, I need to play this game for these characters. And you got to remember at the same time, I've seen. Uh, oh, look, that's Jamie's. That's a new outfit for Jamie. That is Ulta outfit for Jamie. Wow, he looks like a gangster. And that's pretty good, actually. Like, the story mode is actually the characters from the game. That's really good, actually. Like, I'm not... It didn't da dawn on me until just now. Just relax. It's not boobs. Trust me and take a swing. It's a family-made herb that really boosts your energy. Oh, wow. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, that had some kick to it. Oh, wow. What is going on? This mission has you going to Metro City's Chinatown to meet a legendary fighter. Chun Li. Becoming the student of a legendary fighter grants you access to their master. Hey. Oh, wow. Actions can be used to destroy wooden boxes and barrels or leap to faraway platforms. Oh, that is cool. Plenty of opportunities to use master actions in different ways. But they oh, wow. Wow. So you'll have to be careful how often you use them. Oh, this is pretty good. Open world. The city, you can use your combat. Attack you. so that's moves in like the, to interact with the world. Drive stall to slow the flow of and you got enemies. Look, level 7, level 10. So you can fight people in like this open world. So you level up your character. You can also use this to avoid enemy oh, if you hit them, it goes into like fighting mode. Oh, wow. This is when you have an opening to strike during an enemy's weakest point. Landing a normal attack here will trigger what we call pressure time. And you'll do more damage than usual. However... Can land a special move. It'll take you one step further. Oh wow! Into a stun state. Keep this in mind when battling on the streets. Oh, they look cool. What the hell? They put a lot of effort into it. Like into the interactions, you can see it. So they're making up with the lack of like serious story, with like depth of story, depth of what you can do. And your interaction. Leafing. Oh wow. Is 
to master. Ah ha ha! That's Chun Li, man. She's not brand new. I wonder if that's the the kid from Street Fighter Third Strike. Like the little girl in the intro of Third Strike. And you saw with Chun Li. If that if that is her, that would be really cool. Oh wow. That's a really good idea. The fact that you're actually um, interacting with the main cast of legendary characters. That's really good. And, also see how they react and it's not just NPCs, some random NPCs that you don't care about or you'll never see again. That's really good. That's really, really good. And then you play with them, you gain experience with them, and then you can master their moves. And then you have like, yeah, what he's saying. That's really good, actually. In addition to experience points, you can also and you can customize your own character, and you can study with various different masters. Oh yeah, increase defense, max vitality, increase the number of special moves you can select. As you can see, in world tour mode. Oh. Jesus, she had Manon's um that suck you in move and then um Jury's um special attack. Oh wow. Oh this is Ch um Kami's super. Holy moly. Oh this is Zangief's super. Crush you! Wow. This looks like fun, man. It looks like a fun time. Oh, Marissa. Yeah, she looks fun, man. She's not my type of character, but I like her personality. Like, the personality really comes across. And what we've seen is the combat of her. We haven't actually seen her in story mode, but her personality really comes across. I like it. Whoa. Did we travel back in time? What the hell? Marissa. Yeah, she seems really cool. I might even play her. Like, I don't like her immediately, but if I like the character's personality, they'll grow on me. Oh, you can fight Marissa! I'm going to assume she's got a level. Yeah, she's level 10. Level 10. Yeah, like, if you had, like, you see this character, the blue jacket? If story mode was interacting with characters like this, I wouldn't... It, it, it'd be garbage to me. Because it's just a right, random NPC that I don't care about. Oh, look, the Mad Gear people. Like, this is good stuff, man, because it's like it's Final Fight. Yeah, Metro City, Mad Gear. They gotta have poison in here, man. Wow. There's no way you can have Mad Gear, everything is set in Metro City, and not have poison. Bro, poison's the character I'm waiting for. Like, she's the one that will really, really put me onto this game, dude. Like, really put me onto this game. Naishal is a large city that serves as another area to explore in World Tour. Dal Sims World. Complete with its own stores that differ from the ones you find in Metro City. Oh, Recover Vitality. To Metro wow, they've really made, like, an RPG of this, huh? Complex topography. And who you'll meet in this new city will also Just so you could do something other than, like, you know, fighting, fighting mode, like... Right then, play mode. Have to show you for world tour mode this time. We hope that you enjoy world tour. Portion, but the story and creating your own character is 
Yeah, it looks good. It looks like good stuff, man. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. I like it. I was impressed. I mean, a story, there is none. But in terms of what you can actually do, the activities that will take up your time and distract you and things to do outside of ranked and player matches and just arcade mode, yeah, it looks really good. It looks really vibrant. The Battle Hub. You are going to see people with some monstrosity type customizations. I'm not going to like it. But it's people's creativity, so can't argue with it. Oh, wow. There's going to be on. That's going to be. That's it. On the arcade cabs, you can play other Street Fighter games. Other games. Maybe have Red Earth on there. Or the Street Fighter game, maybe Street Fighter Alpha, Alpha 2. Show the world your own uh, and avatar, avatar battles. That's okay. I knew they'd have something like that. We also have a new I mean, no one's really going to use it, man. Everyone's going to focus on their character they're learning. But, you know, it's fun. Oh, wow. So kind of like guilds. Basics of the club, you can also create a customized emblem. And then people that are into the type of thing that you're into doing. Your very own club uniforms that all members Whoa. That is some good stuff, bro. We're looking forward to seeing players don their club colors and enjoy the battle hub. Wow. And you can have like your own hub. I think you could set up tournaments or first to five tournaments or first to ten tournaments or round robin tournaments where you can invite people into your sessions or just people in your guild. That's some good stuff, man. Oh, wow, this game's got character damage and like, their clothes get dirty and stuff. I don't think I knew that. Oh, look, his face is swollen and stuff. Wow, I didn't know there was character damage. Let's talk about some of the cool stuff we have in fighting ground. Classic outfits. I mean, if you're going to go new, like you're actually going new, like why have you got the the, the, the classic outfits, man? Like if you're trying to move on with the future, yeah, character damage. Wow. Oh, look, look, custom Chun Li. I mean, classic Chun Li. Wow. This can also be turned on and off. She looked good. Oh, wow. Look at Ryu. Holy moly. Oh, wow. Look at the cut on girl's eye, man. Wow. Oh, wow. That's good for, like, people that are maybe, like, maybe, like, colorblind or just blind or can't really see properly. Oh, wow. Audio cues. Wow. Holy moly. That's impressive. <clears throat> so there's all different types of players, man, and people that need different needs and stuff like that. So the fact that they're thinking about that is that's really cool, man. I really can't believe like Tekken got Jin and Kazuya and June. And all them characters and we got this goofball, Luke. It sucks, man. But I'm ignore I would ignore him. He doesn't exist to me. But if he's really good in the game, 
to the point where everyone's going to be picking him, that's when we're going to have a problem. If they make him too good to ignore, like what they did with Street Fighter V. Because they made Luke so good in five, like it was egregious. They forced him down our throats to promote him in Street Fighter VI. And it, it, it kind of worked in reverse because it made people not like him. So he's not the character I want to see. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that Kimberly Oh. Yeah, that Kimberly ult looks amazing, bro. Like, that ult makes me want to play Yang. Kimberly. Oh, wow, you're the Yang. Been a hot minute since I've seen either of you. But don't worry. I'm doing just fine all on my own. You're the Yang, bro. The name's Jamie Show. Go through each yeah, yeah. A special wow. That really hits it home that he is, uh... I think he's related to... Yun and Yang? Wow, that's really cool. Wow. That's really good. Holy moly! Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, this you got the Street Fighter 2. Uh, bonus mode, we got the third strike. Uh, second impact, the basketball parrying. Manon. That's new. If you're that was new. Is the right one for you. Check out the character guide. Whoa. That was a new. Oh, I like that better. Please say that's her, her ult. Because the way her ult looks at the minute, it looks like a slideshow. It don't look good. It looks like they ran out of budget on Manon Ultra. The way it looks before the game has come out. Like the second the second beta. The second beta test that they did. Oh, no, no, no. It wasn't a beta. She's never been in the beta. Sorry. Like her second showcase video on the YouTube channel. And they put her versus Kami. Like... That her ult at that build of the game, it looked like a slideshow. It looked like Skullomania Super, like freeze frames. Oh wow, damage, combo type. I don't think it showed frame data. Oh yeah, Lily. Yeah, she looks cool. Wow, they packed a lot, hey. We got 23. I just wanted to see how many people we got. We got 23,624 people watching. I wonder how many people are watching on Twitch. Oh, wow. So you could do like different modes with things going on. What's that? Oh wow! So Capcom Fighters, it's got seven thousand people watching on the Capcom Fighters, and they've got thirteen thousand watch on the Capcom USA channel. Interesting. See, you've got more people watching on YouTube than watching on Twitch, which is kind of surprising. Wow. Okay. I thought he was going to step on her face. I was about to say, bro. Custom room is the way to go. The four virtual cabinets in the room can be set to one-on-one, -on -one, extreme battle, or training mode. Custom rooms now allow for up to 16 players at a time. We've made great strides to improve the experience compared to previous titles. I really wanted to see, like, combat, like, versus battles, but this is better. This shows overall, 
what is going on in the game and what the game has to offer. Yeah, this is way better than what I what I wanted. This showcase is better than that. This is a great way for friends to keep together and teach comedy. Yeah. Or try out new characters. Popular ranked match lets players worldwide compete again. Yeah, here we go. Fight it out with players. Ranked is where it's at, it's what it's really about. Let's be honest. For Street Fighter 6, in order to burden Diamond Platinum Master, huh? We've added a new one time rank down protection feature where you won't lose league points in certain leagues. In addition, we have characters. Don't know about that. Oh, wow, look how old. Oh, we can see their ults. Come on, let's see their ults. Casual match also I want to see Manon's ult. Where you can play online without any change to your league points. Although I feel like we've already seen Manon's ult. So, what do you think? It looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah, you can see that they work really hard. Yeah, they work really hard on this mode. Like the whole game. Like they packed a lot into it to make up for the lack of story mode. Like amazing story mode, like you see in like Tekken and stuff like that. They've made up for it with content and op options and accessibility. Like this, you've got all this goofy stuff. So to make up with from that, they made up with it with just content and... A lot of that stuff. Hey everyone, I'm Shuhei. Mike What's up, Shuhei? Producer on Street Fighter Six. I'd like to walk everyone through what our plans are for Street Fighter Six once the game releases on June second. Let's do it. A big part of Street Tell Fighter's me. charm is the cast of characters from around the DLC. That appear in each game. It's going to be Akuma, Rashid, Ed. Awesome uh. Yeah, I can't remember the rest. Because there was a leak list. And with the final list, you can see that there are some characters that are missing. Four characters, okay. Akuma, Rashid, Ed are going to be three of them. I can't remember who the last one is going to be. Oh, her! Okay, yeah, Aki, yeah. I do remember her. Akuma. Yeah, yeah. So we knew this from looking at the leaked list. Year one will see the introduction of new characters, Rashid, Aki, Ed, and so for example, Rashid I'm not gonna buy that. In summer twenty twenty three. Aki in autumn twenty twenty three. Ed in the winter after the new year. And Akuma in spring twenty twenty four. Yeah, so straight away, I'm not buying that season pass. Unless Akuma is godlike and he looks really, really cool. But I've never played Akuma. Like, never. I don't really like Ryu Ken Akuma characters. Shoto characters. champion will receive a special one million dollar prize package one million that's why this is going to be the biggest game both modern and classic control till next year a million whoever wins is going to be a millionaire that's wild that's wild man whoever wins this tournament is going to be a millionaire well not really a millionaire because you know taxes but you know, pretty much, pretty much a millionaire. Yeah, this is a good showcase. 
That shows what what is this game about? What are, what are you buying into? It's really good, really good. I mean, I'll be honest, it's not sold me because I need a character. Like, it's all well and good with all this fancy stuff, which is really good. But there's no... Nothing sold me. Like, there's no character that sold me. See if I had a demo available on all platforms. It's out today. So, basically, I'm, I'm going to download the I'm gonna download the demo. Yeah, I'll download it. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I might change my mind after I've played the demo. Wow, and it's on the PS4 as well? Wow. Hope you enjoy them. Yeah, definitely gonna check it out, man. We're creating Street Fighter 6 to be the game that revolutionizes the fighting game genre. I don't know, man. You got seconds. Um, you got seconds out there. I just don't feel like I've got my character. That's my that's my only problem. The game looks amazing. But the this, uh, I need a character. I need a character that moves me. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. It looks really good, man. The game looks amazing. It's just that I don't have a character to bond with. And with fighting games, is I need a character to bond with. I'm that guy. Now, you know, like, Devil May Cry, I love my Dante. With Tekken, I love my Nina. Um, you know, I'm that guy. You know, I play Zeno, um Blade Chronicles 2. I love um, Rex. You know, you play um, Zelda Gears Blade um, Chronicles 1. I like Sulk, you know. I'm like, I'm that type of, I'm that type of a player. Well, I like my characters. I need to have uh, something that bonds me to that character, to that game. I play Guild Gear Strive, a love of biking, you know. So, that's the thing. That's the main thing about it. But yeah, that looked good. I liked everything that they showed me in that game. The only issue I have is there's not a character that has blown me away. That makes me like, oh man, I need to play this game. So I thought I could miss this game. Right? And I wouldn't be fussed. And the only thing that could change my mind. That could change my heart. Is seeing Poison. That's literally it. Or if they brought Laura back, which is not gonna happen for at least a year, because they said from when the game releases in June second, which is my birthday month, till spring next year, Akuma. So for at least a whole year, I could miss out on this game, not get this game, and it's not gonna bother me. You know, because I don't have anybody. And if in the next DLC pack, I don't see Poison or Laura, I don't know if I'm going to be on this game. So, yeah, so I think that was it. The showcase is over. Um, I like what I saw. Everything was good, as I was saying um, just a second ago. And um, let me know what you think. If you're interested in Street Fighter... Uh, six. If you're going to be getting it, let me know what's on your mind, how you feel about it, and um, yeah, I'll give that showcase the showcase itself. I'll give that a solid eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, and the only reason I say out of eight out of ten is because, just as I said, for me, there's not a character that I see that just electrifies me, that excites me. But other than that, peak.
Alright Warriors, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. Um, so take care. Stay blessed. And um, catch you next one. Latest.